We get to some breaking news. There's new information about who was involved in the murder of this 15 year old girl. Thanks for joining us on the night beat. I'm Russ McCaskin. I'm Amanda Hall. It's been three painful weeks for everyone who knew and loved Kayla Rincon Miller. She was gunned down during a robbery in Cape Coral while she was walking with two friends. Only one arrest has been made, but police no multiple people were involved in this. 16 year old Thomas Stein's arrest report revealed he was driving his mom's rental car during the time of Kayla's murder. Security cameras captured the license plate and cops reached out to his mom. She wasn't willing to stay silent. Stein's mother told police he'd been hanging out with two boys the night Kayla was killed and they didn't come home until 10 p.m. about a half an hour after the shooting. The night beats Amy Gallo joins us live from Kayla's memorial. Amy, do we have any idea who the shooter is. We do not at this time. This report doesn't reveal any of their describing characteristics or their identities, but it does reveal the car that they were in, a gray Nissan Pathfinder, which was spotted on camera that night, driving past Kayla and her friends at 930, then doing a U-turn and then speeding away around 933. 15 year old Kayla Rinkin Miller will never smile like this again. Kayla's grand great grandmother has just passed one day prior to Kayla passing. Um, but she lived for 95 years and poor Kayla only got 15. So we want to see justice. That was Kayla's cousin just days after the murder. Her loved ones got one step closer to justice when Cape Coral police arrested 16 year old Thomas Stein March 14th in connection to Kayla's murder. But a new Cape Coral police report has revealed Stein did not pull the trigger, though he did play a key role in the robbery, meaning Kayla's actual killer is still out there. We feel that this might have been a target attack where she was singled out and it seemed very strange to everyone that she was the only one that was shot. The report also states Jessica Stein, the suspect's mother, saw her son with two friends at their house around 6 p.m., then not again until 10 p.m., which would be about a half hour after the shooting. Two friends who matched the descriptions given by the girls who were with Kayla. Now, there's still a number of questions tonight, including who are those other two suspects? Did Thomas's mom give up their names to Cape Coral Police? Will Cape Coral Police plan to arrest them anytime soon? I reached out to Cape Coral Police about these questions, but they told me they can't reveal any more details at this time because it could put their investigation at risk. Live with the Night Beat, Amy Gallo, Wink News. Amy received a statement from a family friend after the police report was released, saying at this time Kayla's parents don't want to comment. Should anything change in that regard, she'll let you know. This is still really hard for them. She told them whenever they're ready that she's here for them in that regard if necessary.